Guys, look at the size of the pork bulgogi. It's like crispier than KFC. I don't want to know what supernova tastes like. <laughs> Total bargain. Total bargain. <laughs> I'm about to take you guys on a tour around Melbourne showing you some of the dirt cheap meals that are actually really good. Before we get going, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and let's go eat! DJ Lunch Bar in Hardware Street. They serve up a really good value lunch menu for only $8.90. They've got a lot of your Korean favorites like bibimbap, pork bulgogi, beef bulgogi, japchae, and a whole bunch of others to choose from. Guys, look at the size of the pork bulgogi. It's massive. That's so much value for your money. Oh guys, and you get a little Korean dumpling with it. And also, an orange slice for dessert. How come my bibimbap doesn't have this? And FYI guys, they have some really great vegetarian options. Like you can get the bibimbap and chop chair as a vegetarian with tofu. Well, that's spicy, but it hits good. Tofu is fried so well. It's so crunchy on the outside. Mm, really good. The flavor is really nice. For $8.90, you can't go wrong. Guys, you can now get one of the world's cheapest Michelin star meals right here in Melbourne at Hawker Chan. We've got the soy sauce chicken on rice and lean char siu on rice, which is like a barbecue pork. These are both small size meals and they cost $8.30 each. Man, this takes me straight back to the Hawker stalls in Singapore. Wow, it's a swingy thing. Mmm. It's so tender and tasty as well. The skin is the best part. That's where all the good tasty soy sauce is. But guys, if you are looking for vegetarian options, this is probably not the best place to come. Wow, this is the one you gotta go for. Soy chicken, for that price and the quality of chicken, it is really, really worthwhile. This is super quality for Melbourne. Total bargain. Total That's bargain. Good. This is probably one of the cheapest all-you-can-eat meals you can get in Melbourne and it's vegetarian and vegan friendly and gluten friendly too. There's three different shops that are within close vicinity of one another and they all do all-you-can-eat meals for $7.50. Now there's a whole bunch of different menu items that you can get but the one you want to get if you're on a budget is the tali meal. For $7.50 you get three different types of curry, a portion of rice and naan bread as well. Now that is amazing value and a huge meal to really fill you up. Mmm, that's good. I love that bread too. Really soft as well. Oh, so aromatic. I love that smell. Let's see how it tastes. Like that curry flavor is so good. It's like kind of like a homemade feel. Very, very good value and the taste is actually quite good. There is so much. There is a lot. Wow, look at this. That's amazing. And rice as well. Now, when it comes to vegetarian Indian foods, there are a few options you can go for in the city. One of our favorites is Crossways on Burke's, just off Burke Street, but they're currently closed and looking for a new location, so hopefully they'll be opening up soon again. And there's also Go Pals, which is also really, really yummy. Slightly more expensive, but better quality. You get $9.50 for a vegetarian meal. Dori Pai Dung. Now, this is some of the best Thai food you can get in Melbourne. It is so good and they've got some really cheap boat noodles that literally taste like off the streets of Bangkok. For only $8, you can get some awesome Thai noodle dishes. Some of them get really spicy. They even have a supernova spicy level. That's seven chilies on that beast. We're having the monster Tom Yum noodle, which only has one chili. Mm. So good, just like the streets of Thailand. Oh, that's spicy. Oh. I don't want to know what supernova tastes like. <laughs> For me, that's like already up there. Noodles are just like in Thailand. It's unbelievable how good this place is. Eight dollars for this. We could not pass up on Domino's $5 pizza range. This is so cheap for pizza. You get a good size and it tastes decent. There are seven different ones to pick from, such as margarita, pepperoni, and there's a spicy vegetarian option too. Hana Ichi. Now this place has always been known to serve cheap meals and it's been here for ages. We got the original chicken curry. Small portion, so if you got a small hunger, this is the perfect size for it. You can also get medium and large, but that's gonna take you over the $10 mark. Test time. 
Mmm, that's really tasty. It's a very mild curry, definitely not spicy at all. So the kids could even have that. For someone like me, this would definitely fill me up because it's like a heavy curry and it's yummy too. It's really tasty. Mmm, good value and super tasty, guys. Definitely stop by Hanaichi. Kaki Lima, guys, at RMIT has a number of really awesome, tasty, cheap options for you to choose from. We got the crispy chicken rendang and I can't wait to dig into it. It looks so good. Definitely an under $10 steal, guys. Mm, so crispy. Yum. Oh, and the spice level is just right. It's not too spicy, but it's not mild either. Hmm. I've never had crispy chicken with rendang before. It's really good. Wow, spice level is really, really good. Actually really tasty. Like crispier than KFC. Definitely recommend this place. Don Don's is one of my longtime favorite Japanese food. It is located on Little Lonsdale Street. Don Don's also serve udon noodles, bento, and also teriyaki chicken, and they all taste really good. Look how much is inside this bowl, and this is only $7.60. This is great value. Another great cheap Japanese restaurant is Udon Yasan. These udon soups are actually pretty cheap, so if you just want the noodles on their own, $4.40. And then obviously the more you add, the more expensive it gets. But it's actually very, very similar to Japan. Oh, I miss Japan so much now. It's so simple. It's literally just udon noodles and soup. And then you get all this like free seasoning stuff that you can put, except for the seaweed stuff. You have to pay 90 cents for that. It's really cheap. It's a really cheap eat. I think this one with um, the sweet tofu, I forgot what it's called, only costs $7 for a big bowl, double portion of noodles. So very cheap eat, guys. Shanghai Village dumplings. These are probably some of the cheapest dumplings you will find in all of Melbourne. And we're gonna go in and grab some dumplings now. And here are the dumplings. We got one plate of pork and one plate of veggie dumplings. This brings back so many memories from pre-clubbing days. We used to come to this dumpling place, which has been around for a long time as well, and eat cheap food and then go drink for the whole night and spend all our money on alcohol. As the right way to eat dumplings, Chinese style, is to use vinegar, not soy sauce. And then if you like a bit of spice, you chuck in some chili oil and wow, delicious. Mm. Very good. For five dollar dumplings, I really can't complain. They're tasty as well. Skin's maybe a little bit thick. Veggie dumpling check. Hmm. You know what, guys? I think I actually like the veggie one more than the pork one. And you get more. You get ten veggie dumplings as opposed to eight pork dumplings for five bucks. More value, and I personally prefer it. Hmm. Five bucks. Bargain. And those were the best dirt cheap meals in Melbourne, guys. Make sure you stay tuned for next week. We are going to be showing you some of the best street food snacks in Melbourne, starting with some skewers. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, like this video, and we'll see you in the next video. Peace.